can you all see my screen okay yeah thanks very thanks for the yeah so what we were discussing was uh, yeah what we were discussing was uh, the java access specifiers okay yeah thanks you yeah uh, so java provides four access specifiers one is uh, public second one is protected default and private okay so as we mentioned here protected applies only when inheritance is involved okay we will understand that in our uh, next session okay next session we will try to not exactly next session and uh, when we discuss about inheritance right that time we will try to understand what exactly protected means okay what exactly protected means we will try to understand apart from that we have public private and no access specifier which is package level access i will try to explain these concepts one and then i uh, will go to the code to try uh, experimenting or uh, try to see what exactly is happening with the when we try to change the access specifier for each and every member of a class okay so public means when a member is specified as public it can be accessed by any other code it can be accessed by any java code okay whenever you mention uh, um, a member as public okay that member can be accessed by any code outside of a particular class okay member of a class uh, members of a class which you are trying to access from outside uh, the code outside of this particular class okay private means that particular member is visible only within that class okay visible only within that class means class the code within a class can only access sorry about that okay so private means anything any member okay if you say it is private okay that member can only be accessed within that particular class only within that particular class outside it is not at all accessible okay no access specifier is our default when we don't specify anything when we don't specify when we don't specify any access specifier either public protected or private that will become your uh, no access specifier or uh, default access specifier default access specifier okay so uh, we have, we have seen what is a uh, i mean i have given high level uh, explanation of what is a package okay so package is nothing but your group of classes group of related classes classes say for example you have some something called as com vikram that utilities details or utilities okay in that i will put all the classes which which would be used as the utilities for uh, the whole application okay that is one thing or for example com Vikram dot something like math. Okay, this is one particular package. All classes which are related to all classes, uh, classes which are related to which handle uh, uh, anything to do with the mathematics, right? That I will put it in dot math package. Dot math package. Okay, like that I will group. Like that uh, each package will have its own. Uh, set of classes okay we will understand more about these things the classes uh, i mean packages and all uh, set of classes okay related classes or a group of logically grouped logically grouped classes within a package we usually place them like that okay so what is this uh, no no default access specifier we we tell it is public within particular package okay whatever the rules applies to this public that means anybody can access 
any code that is outside of uh, uh, this particular instance member, right? Instance uh, member, I mean, uh, uh, member of a class which is uh, qualified as uh, public. Any code outside of uh, outside the, of this particular class can access this uh, number. Okay, so that is for public access specifier. But for default, within a package, say for example, I have com dot Vikram dot NAT. Okay, this is one particular uh, package. Inside this, I have class A. Okay, this has one. I don't specify any spec, uh, this one. What is that? Uh, access specifier. I'll just say int i. Okay, I'll just say int i. So, say for example, I have another class, class B, within the same package. In the same package. I have another class, class B, and uh, it wants to, I mean, uh, say for example, you have another method, okay? So this method wants to print the value of this one. This method can, this class can access this instance variable, okay? This is an instance variable. So this method can access this instance variable because this class A and class B are in the same package, Class A and Class B are in the same package, and we have not specified any. Uh, we have not specified any access specifier for int i. Okay, so that is default. Okay, according to this particular definition, it is public within that particular package. So within that package, within this particular package, that is com Vikram. Math package class A class B are there. Anything, okay, anything which is the default number, either in class A or class B, they can be accessed by either A or B. Okay, anything that is that is what is called as package level access. So it is public within the particular package. Okay, any code within uh, the particular package can access that member, that is default member. Okay, that is what it means. So, how do you define, uh, anyone has any questions regarding this one? Did all of you understood the, uh, what I just mentioned? Please let me know uh, if you have any questions. Okay, so Pawan is asking, do all classes in package be public? Yeah, it depends on uh, your uh, definition, right? Say, for example, you have uh, each, you have multiple classes, and if you want to define each class in a separate file, there should be one particular uh, class which is public, okay? Even you can have a class, uh, I mean, one, the requirement is if you want to specify, a, uh, I mean, we know, right? Uh, you can, you have to save, uh, Java code inside one a particular file. Let me explain that, okay? So you, you say for example, you have a, a class a dot Java. This is a file, Java file, okay? For this, you should have, I don't know. For that, you should have one particular uh, class, which is public, okay? This is the public class A. But without you have, without uh, having public class within a file, how do you save it? That is not allowed. Okay. To save one particular class as uh, uh, this one, what is that? Uh, as A dot Java, you should have one public class which is named or which, which is identified by name A. Otherwise, even if you, you can save it, but even if you, uh, uh, no, that is not at all possible, uh, Pawan. So Pawan is asking, uh, uh, 
do we are i mean even without uh, naming uh, what you can do is you can write a code and save it as some other things just in some editor but if you try to do the same thing in eclipse it will clearly say there should be at least a minimum uh, uh, i mean it won't even allow because when you are trying to create a class right with in eclipse it lasts for class name so when you create when you finish the creating of the uh, creating of the class it will create it can easily see uh, uh, it uh, creates a public class with the name that you have specified while creating a new class right so that is eclipse version but uh, in other editors say for example notepad plus plus or notepad whatever it is you can just create a class by name class a and save it as it not that it is not public one okay so you can save it as a dot java okay but when you try to compile it try to compile it and see what exactly happens and try to run it even if you are able to comp compile it try to run it see what exactly happens okay this is an interesting point okay try to try to run it and try to understand what exactly is happen happening okay then you will understand that that is a restriction right uh, like not restriction actually that is a uh, need like public there should be at least one public class for a particular java file okay you can have uh, 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 i mean the one public class should be there for a java file java file to be named with that name a, a class a means a dot java right uh, without that i don't think you will be able to say the other editors you will be able to say but with eclipse it, it clearly says you should have at least one uh, i mean public class if you try to define two public classes it will also again uh, start uh, complaining you cannot have two public classes within a uh, particular file like that so or it says like uh, each public class should be within separate files okay so importing and all will not uh, i mean if you try to uh, write a class without uh, i mean a java file without public class uh, there is one uh, an important thing happens okay that i want you to identify okay that I'm, uh, that i want you to identify an important concept is there okay an important concept is there try to see try to save that file without public class and try to compile it or try to run it then you will be able to understand or the, try to see what what errors you get whether it is in compiling it compile time or in uh, run time uh, just see and try to uh, understand what what is the error okay then when you start exploring it more you'll be able to get uh, more and more information otherwise we, i will try to explain the, those things in uh, uh, one of the class okay so the, the access specifier is just within a uh, uh, specific package okay within a specific package so whatever the rules that apply to the whole world for public for public whatever the rules applies to the whole world outside of the particular class the same rules applies to the default members but it is only limited to one particular package so default is nothing but package level access okay so when you are trying to declare a member we have seen multiple times the access specifiers must be the first one which you specify okay so the, 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 if you want to uh, create an instance variable uh, which is private you say private int i okay this is your access specifier which should always be the first keyword that you enter for the declaration declaration of a member so in case of uh, your method you specify public return type method name okay so this should precede any other uh, definition of a method or declaration of a method whatever the keyword that you use okay this should always precede the rest of the members type spe uh, special members uh, specification not exactly type special members specification okay let's move on to the next slide okay this is empty which i created so let's see uh, okay let's uh, try to see some examples that will make things uh, easier to understand right so let's try to see some examples
sorry i had already opened it so let us try to see these two classes okay so i have specified few members here this is access specifier example access access specifier example i have specified few members here let me take this pen okay uh, so one is integer this is private another one is default one we have not specified any uh, access specifier for this and this one is public okay so i is private j is package level okay j is package level and k is worldwide worldwide access okay one word anything any any class can access k okay so just uh, for uh, example i have just mentioned i have initialized the, the values inside the, the constructor default constructor and these are all uh, your uh, methods okay so here the first method print i is private remember this is private okay then void this method is default one no access specifier is specified okay and then this is public this is also public okay let us try to do these things try to access these things in the some other code okay some other code let us try to access this in some other code and members i'm talking about members okay so this is a uh, demo class or uh, this is a demo the class which actually tests all the access specifier okay that is your where is that test okay so let us get all these things here is all okay so here we have two methods uh, as usual print ln and uh, print ln integer it just prints integer it just, just prints uh, string okay i have created an uh, this one what is that an object of access specifier okay which is our class this one so we know we have i j and k instance variables this is private this is uh, default this is public okay so so with this as with this object as is an object of access specifier right when i try to access as dot i it gives error because you cannot access i outside of access specifiers class because it is modified its definition is modified as private private using private access specifier access to cipher okay so with this particular object you cannot access i so can we access uh, j and k yes we can access j and k because j is default okay j is default because so because j is default it is package level access and both access specifiers and access specifier test both are in the same package both are in the same package that is session 24 both are in the same package named session 24 okay because access specifier test and access specifier are in the same package with this object i can access j because i have not qualified the, this j as any with any access specifier okay can we access k obviously we can access k because k is 
public public instance variable there is public instance variable that's why for this statement if you the print okay let me erase all these things for this particular statement for this particular statement we will get compile time error but for these two things we won't get because j is uh, default and k is public this is private okay so now try to print the value of i a s dot get i so what is the what is the access level of uh, get i get i is public so you can access it okay so that will be used to print the value of i current value of i as uh, with respect to uh, as object okay and then print jk that is also possible as dot print ijk so that is also possible because all these things are uh, print ijk this is public print i public print uh, jk that is default because default and this class is within the same package print jk can be used okay hope all of you are trying uh, uh, i mean uh, uh, getting whatever the points i am discussing this is very very important okay this is very important topic so let us try to run this uh, program and see whether uh, whatever we are telling is uh, correct or wrong okay uh, let us run this okay let try to run it this is what is the error that i mean uh, the result that we are getting okay print j and uh, k that is you are able to see in uh, this one these are print j and k okay so then i am trying to print i okay that is value of i this is what is your value of i values of i and j this will print uh, values of i and j 10 and 20 i am not sure i need to check which of where this particular value is coming okay then value of i is 10 what is that okay so let us go back here so let us see what exactly is being done in this okay so when i try to get i so it prints i that is our i here okay then jk what it does it prints i and j not j and k i have mentioned it as i and j so that is why i am getting confused j and k okay j and k okay and this will print jk okay public method ijk will print both both i and jk so when i try to print i what it does it will print this and then jk means it will print j and k okay so first it will print i and then values of i jk in this method okay that is why we are seeing uh, this confusing uh, result okay so initial value of i is uh, 10 that is what we have assigned in our uh, uh, constructor and then we are calling so for here uh, i we are printing that is this one then we call jk this is what gets printed then ijk it initially prints i by calling uh, print i and then values of i uh, jk again uh, i mentioned this jk okay so it is jk not ij okay that's what is the value that gets printed that is why we are getting these values this 20 and 30 is nothing but your j and k okay tell us j and k we can access we can directly access this, uh, j because it is default it is public the k is public okay so let me know if you understood uh, so far if anyone has any uh, any doubts or uh, anything you want to ask please let me know we'll try to clarify the, the doubt any question please let me know Okay, Hugh. Hugh seems to be good. 
okay so looks like others also are good with my explanation uh, whatever i was uh, just discussed i think most of you have got uh, the uh, points here okay so now we are good with the uh, yeah, public default and private private we cannot access we can access only through this particular method that is your get i if you want to print you can get the value of i using get i because that is public okay here this particular code is part of access specifies that java code that is why even though this method print i is private this the code within this can access print i to print the value of i okay and then it prints the values of j and k just to show how access specifies work i have done it okay then an interesting thing happens so this is uh, another package 24 underscore one is another package this is one package this is another package okay this is out of package class let us see what exactly is happening in this particular class okay so here same same uh, methods are there don't give too much importance to these two methods it is just for printing the other value and then similarly we uh, try to access i mean create one particular object as remember this out uh, outside package class outside package class is uh, the class which is outside of session 24 package session 24 package let me write it down so session 24 is a package okay this is package 1 so this has access specifier class access specifies class but this class is outside package class is outside of outside of what which package 24 okay this is in inside separate package called a uh, 24 underscore one package okay 24 underscore one package so let us see which are all the members that uh, this particular class can access okay this particular class can access so similarly like uh, we did it for uh, access specifier test i have created one object of access specifier and the only thing which i can access is here that print ij ijk okay only thing that i can access is print ijk and get i only things these are the only two members which are public inside this access specifier okay this is one public this is one public that is why these two members can be accessed outside of this particular any code that is outside of this particular package okay so i can print the values of i j k i can get the value of i and print it all others okay all other code say for example if i want to access a s dot print it won't show at all the those will not have say for example print i okay so it says method print i from type access specifier is not visible okay because i this is a private method print i is a private method if, uh, if you go to access specifier in that java print i is a private method this is accessible only this print i method is this particular method is accessible only or class okay similarly this is only accessible within this class like we have accessed here right okay and what about 
int j within the package this is public within the package this is public but outside of this package it is private that means outside of the package you cannot access j at all within the package any code any class can access i as though it is a public member of access specifiers okay so similarly this one since this is package level access it is not visible outside of this particular package any class that is access specifier test can access this this one and this one not this because private okay private so this one and this one within the package any class within the package can access these two members k okay. uh j and k and these methods print uh, jk print ijk get i okay because default and uh, public methods but outside of the package what happens we can access only public members outside of the package what we are trying to access nothing is visible okay nothing is visible only things that are visible are public methods or public instance variables okay only public members are accessible outside of uh, a particular class outside of uh, uh, i mean to outside code you can mention it as outside code outside code so when i try to run this it it uh, prints whatever the values that we have assigned when i try to print it or when i try to run this program it will give the values okay initially it will print i that is inside uh, your ijk method and then it prints jk by calling print jk and then it prints the value of i so let us see what exactly is happening here this is what is happening that is why we are printing value of i two times okay uh, did it give uh, some uh, uh, good understanding on access specifiers Please let me know if you have any questions. Please, please let me know. Somehow static. Okay, so slides should have been. Uh, this should have been uh, before than this particular uh, slide. Okay. So how do we declare uh, access specifier? First, we specify access specifier. then type and then identifier this is for instance variables this is for instance variables this is method declaration type identifier open close by parenthesis parameter list and then your scope method scope and class declaration access specifier class uh, keyword and then identifier class scope class code okay so notice that everywhere access specifier is preceded uh, to the other uh, member specification you can mention it as member spec okay member spec okay let me know if you have any questions otherwise we will stop this session at this point and uh, uh i uh, i will let uh, you guys know when we are, then will be our next class whether that will happen within this particular week or uh, the next week that is monday okay i will let you all know okay please let me know if you have any questions otherwise uh, we will stop this session and uh, tomorrow uh, in the next class we will take up uh, static and other uh, topics okay any questions please
ನಾವು ಕವಿತಾ ಸೇಸ್ನು ಓಕೆ ಓಕೆ ದೇ ಲೆಟ್ ಎಸ್ ನೋ ಕ್ವಶನ್ಸ್ ಸೆವೆಂತ್ ಹಾಫ್ ಆಫ್ ಸೇಸ್ ನೋ ಕ್ವಶನ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ದೇ ಲೆಟ್ಸ್ ವೈಂಡ್ ಅಪ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸೆಷನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವಿಲ್ ಮೀಟ್ ಇನ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಸೆಷನ್ ಪ್ರಾಬಬ್ಲಿ ಇಟ್ ಬಿ ಆನ್ ಸ್ಯಾಟರ್ಡೆ ಮಾರ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಸೆಷನ್ ಇಟ್ ಬಿ ನಾ ಸ್ಯಾಟರ್ಡೆ ಮಾರ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಸೆಷನ್ ಬಟ್ ಯುವರಾಜ್ ವಿಲ್ ಕನ್ಫರ್ಮ್ ದಟ್ ಓಕೆ ಯ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ಸ್ ಎಲ್ವನ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಅಟೆಂಡಿಂಗ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸೆಷನ್ ಎಂಜಾಯ್ ಯುವರ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ಸ್ ಗಿವಿಂಗ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹಾಲಿಡೇ ಹಾಲಿಡೇಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಬಾಯ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲ 